Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Vinny Eats and today we've got an interesting little product review for you. This today is the Lucky Leaf Key Lime Filling or Topping with Natural and Artificial Flavors, a 21 ounce can of basically pie filling. I picked this up at Meijer for $3.29 and then to round it out and make it to where we could review it, I picked up a shortbread pie crust and threw it in there. Basically all you do is pop the top on the can and dump it into the pie crust, chill it in the fridge for four hours and you have a pie. Yeah, so it looked like this is basically like a pudding. You yeah. just take out of the can, put it in there and then just chill it. So really easy. Very freaking easy. And I had to get it because like we love key lime pie and to find it in a can was very interesting. Yeah, we have a bakery near us that makes a key lime pie that is really good mm -hmm. and they make it fresh every morning and then before they close, if they haven't sold any of this stuff, they throw it in the garbage and make fresh every morning, right? It's a really good key lime pie. Mm -hmm. And so I saw this thing, I thought, wow, this is interesting. Now, where is this from? They are out of Peach Glen, Pennsylvania. So not Key West. No, but it is peach, so it's peach. adjacent. Yeah, it's very... It's fruit adjacent. Exactly. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review every day grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, we're not going to judge it based on the crust but we will judge the filling itself. Let's try it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. This is a weird product. Basically, it's pudding. I don't care how much time you put this in the freaking fridge. It's like a pudding with a pie crust on it, right? The pie crust absolutely hated it. Oh, wow. <laughs> absolutely hated it. It was too freaking crunchy. Hmm. And didn't really taste that good, you know? Okay. I <laughs> well, we're not reviewing the pie crust, well, thank God. No, we had, we had a dog here making some noises. I know, she was agreeing with you. Yeah. So, um, the crust was terrible, but like the actual key lime filling, it was, it was good. It's like a pudding, man. Hmm. You know, I... I give them credit for the creativity. I think if you live in like a rural part of the country or you are uh, prepping for a pandemic because God knows when something like that happens, right? Um, you have something like this in your cupboard because um, I'm sure the shelf life on this is a very long time. I think it was three years or so. Yeah, three years. <laughs> this is a company that's been around since 1949. I love the packaging. And uh, it says family farms are at the heart of Lucky Leaf. So I really love that, you know. Mm. Um, but it's just a freaking key lime pudding. It's very tart. Like especially like the aftertaste really punches you. I was like shocked each time I put it in my mouth and like just when it hits you, wow, it's mm. tart. I like the sweetness level though. It's, it's good. It's a freaking pudding. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I didn't enjoy this. For me, I think the flavor, like it, it didn't scream key lime to me. It was almost just like generic lime. Like it didn't have that certain flavor of a key lime pie. But the biggest issue that I had with it was the texture. This, if it was more like a creamy pudding, I could have gotten down with it. But this was almost like pudding mixed with like jello, you know, and it was kind of funky. Like there was a funky, slippery, gelatinous texture to it that I just did not love. It's not the typical texture that I expect out of a key lime pie. I also don't think that this particularly works well as a pie filling. I think that you could definitely, if you enjoyed it, like some crazy people, oh. that you could use this in like maybe a parfait kind of thing where you put it in a cup and you like layer stuff. 
or in like a small tartlet or well, something. Well, I was going to say those um, Costco glasses. We yes, have. exactly. That's what I was picturing in my yeah. head <laughs> with like some graham cracker crumble or something. Yeah. But I actually think that would be a good idea. <laughs> well, we have a whole nother can of it that you can do that with. But I feel like as a pie, like you said, it doesn't matter how long you put it in the fridge. It's not going to set up like a pie because whenever I cut into it, despite it being in the fridge for long enough, it just kind of starts to ooze a little bit. And I feel like it just doesn't give like a nice presentation. So you might as well just cut out the middleman of having it in a pie and just put it in a freaking glass because it's going to ooze anyway. But I was going to say insert. Like all the comments saying, well, I did it. I had no problem. Well, good We're for glad. you, Sheila. Congratulations. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that, you know, there was a suggestion on the thing that if you wanted to do like a frozen pie, you could mix it with Cool Whip. I do think that perhaps mixed with Cool Whip, it might produce a better pie product. Yeah, I think that's what you're gonna have to do if you want it that way. Yeah, I agree. Sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.